Okay, so this teenager creates an elite social media website with these guys and then they kick out this guy. Oh, and these guys sue him for stealing their ideas, so he pays them off 65 million and they go investing in crypto, which is not doing really well at the moment. Anyway, back to this guy. Facebook grows, you become the world's third richest person and any startup that comes in his way, he just buys it. So this company competed with him, he bought it for a billion. This company competed with him, he bought it for 16 billion and any other company that would come, he would either offer it or try to buy it off. Anyway, he wakes up one day with an epiphany that the world is all about the metaverse and that he needs to change the company's name to Meta. So he does that, investors are very mad. So he goes like, okay, I'm sorry. And this is where it's at. Did I get it right? Before any of this happened, he had to have some sort of pitch deck so that he would pitch for an investment. There was one, it raised around 400,000 of seed investment. So let's take a look at the very old Facebook pitch deck. Let's look at the pitch deck. Facebook. Okay, so we're doing the Facebook original pitch deck, Media Kit of 2004. Now, this is the version that I found online. It might not be the exact original deck, but it surely has information that is very close. As far as I know, it is the original deck, but uh, we're going to analyze it in all cases. So the slide layout, they just put the contents that they're talking or the table of contents. The Stanford Daily says classes are being skipped, work is ignored. Now that's something you should be proud of because everyone's using the Facebook.com. So it's a good starter. It shows that, you know what, we're an addictive startup. That's what you want to invest in. What is the Facebook.com? It's an expanding online directory that connects students, alumni, faculty and staff through social networks at colleges and universities. You have to know that, I mean, you obviously know that the Facebook then and Facebook now, it shifted entirely. They had no idea what was going on. And if this product launches again right now, it wouldn't be successful because it was the right product at the right time. And now it's obsolete. User profile. Each Facebook.com user maintains and updates a profile. You, if, you, if you really used Facebook a long time ago, you would recognize this. And that's what they're about. They started with targeting people from specific universities or schools. Then they expanded later on. If you haven't watched the movie called Social Network, then you must do that. The Facebook. Additionally, the Facebook automatically adds to each user profile links to school news articles. Again, that changed interest, school networking. That's how they started. And that's why they got sued with the Winklevoss twins. Because this was the part of the idea that they were talking about. So the, the, the exclusivity per se is pitched here. Interest school networking. Each user can also browse the social network of, of other schools through the global search function. And our schools, the expansion, the Facebook comes launched in February in Harvard. As of April, the expansion network has seen the following member of schools. And then they start showing the schools, Harvard, Columbia, Ivy League schools and other schools as well. This is the traction they're talking about because they had good traction at the moment. The expansion plan, it's not only about these schools, it's about a lot of others. So it said that it would have 200 members of school. I really doubt that by September, I, I'm sure they had a lot more by September of 2004. Our audience, the college addiction, they call it. There are 15 million college students with an estimated purchase power that exceeds 85 billion. This was addressed mainly to advertisers. Advertisers would want to advertise their expensive products to college students that pay a lot. So that's why they knew that and they were showing this. User demographics, total students 70,000, that's what they have right now, mostly Ivy Leagues. Total students, alumni, students, and faculty staff, mostly students. User base demographics, and then the total students. These are just statistics in general because they want to show you what you're investing in. 52% uh, women, site usage, and how everything Statistical monthly traffic and page views, 90 million back then. That was really interesting. Actually, until this moment, 90 million monthly traffic of page views is just not bad. It's, it's tremendous. The Daily Pennsylvanian, I have a new addiction. It's powerful. It's serving. It's Facebook.com. I like these fillers in the middle, which just showcases that also a lot of people are talking about us and it's not just us. User growth rate. The growth rate of numbers is, is increasing with an addition of 10,000 Facebook members in the first week of April. Very impressive growth rate. And this was the deck, actually this was the slide or maybe something at the bottom, but this slide was the only one they really needed to pitch seriously with such growth and such retention. People are just using it all the time. It's a super good investment opportunity to invest in. 
Our services, online marketing services, advertisements, most social media companies like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, they all rely on advertising to make revenue. And that's what they said. Targeted advertising, uh, rates of the advertising, and then Eduardo, the CFO that got uh, that got fired from there. So uh, he was targeting this to, to get people to actually invest in advertising mainly. So they, why wouldn't they advertise? Because it's a very good opportunity to advertise in. Interestingly, this was one of the reasons why he got out of Facebook because something related to advertising or the companies he was addressing. Uh, but yeah, so that was the pitch deck that I found. It's not a typical pitch deck also. It's an advertising business deck per se. And, uh, and that's what this shows. But it does tell a lot of information that is true about Facebook at that time. So it's quite a good investment deck. Supposedly this raised around 400,000. I'm not sure if this was exactly the version that raised 400,000, but it would be close because it was at almost at the same time. Well, this deck, I would say it's vintage and it's absolutely not needed. Everyone in the world heard of Facebook at the moment. So they knew it was a product with a very big retention and it's such an addictive product. And in such situations, you'd want to invest. He knew that, investors knew that, he just had to create a pitch deck so that they would just undergo the formality. But at the end of the day, the product was so good that it didn't really need a pitch deck at the moment. That's my opinion. I do hope you liked the pitch deck and the analysis. If you did, please like and subscribe to this video. If not, comment and tell me what you didn't like and then we can discuss it. Anyway, I wish you a wonderful and fantastic day.